Hello GIS! Here's how to bookmark a page on your mobile device or computer. Let's start with an iPhone. How do we bookmark a page? We're going to start by opening Safari or any other web browser. When we're there, you're going to copy and paste the link that was given to you from your homeroom teacher. Okay, at the top, once we've pasted that and we've gone to that website, you can see in your primary pages that there are many different pages for the different grades. We want to go to the one that your child is in. So for example, if your child is in grade one, I'm gonna to go to the grade one level page. To save this page, on an iPhone at the very bottom, you'll see that there is a share box. There's a box with an arrow. You're gonna click that arrow and go to add to home screen. You can edit the name of it, this is the site, and click Add to Home Screen. Now, you've got a button that takes you directly to that page. You can move it anywhere on your phone and access it like this. If you have an Android phone, here's how to bookmark a page. Start by downloading Google Chrome. Once you have Google Chrome, open it up. At the very top, you're going to type or copy and paste the web address. Go ahead to the primary pages. You'll see, as usual, that there will be different grades and specific subjects that you can click into. Choose the one that you need for your child. For instance, we're in KG2, our grade level page. Now, at the very top right, there are three dots. You can click that and then find Add to Home Screen. Click Add again, and now you'll have an icon. If you go back, you will see an icon that takes you straight to the KG2 grade level page. Here's how to bookmark a page on your computer. Whether you have a MacBook or Windows, you're going to open Google Chrome. Open up a new tab or a new window. At the very top, again, you're going to type the web address you can copy and paste the link from your homeroom teacher. Once you're there, you're going to choose the page that you need. There are also single subject specialist pages. If you want to save one of those pages, for instance, you can click there and choose the single subject teacher that you need. Once there, at the top right corner, there's three dots. After you click the three dots, you'll find more tools. After that, you're going to see create a shortcut. Click that. And now this shortcut will be created onto your desktop. We're going to click create. We're going to go back to our desktop and you'll see that this is what takes us to the primary pages. If it opens a separate window, make sure to drag and drop that onto your desktop so it's easy to access. Let's try it. We're going to double click and it opens our primary pages.